So here we are with another episode of Shady Tales. And in the first game, first opening, I turned into Shady Eilish. I'm a rich guy. I'm a rich guy. Because I found the vase after opening the room for the very first time. But was it worth opening the door 10 times? Well, guys, we're gonna find out together, but let me give you some context, okay? So I've been playing in total 24-ish games because not every time I got to the hotel. Sometimes I got to the hotel, but, you know, the room was opened or I got into trouble. And, uh, by the way, second opening, desk is empty. It's like, you know, how can it be that the desk is empty? Anyways, so... My aim was to get to the um, hotel room, the main guest room, but sometimes, you know, if I had a spawn next to the villa or trade center, I was obviously checking that area first. And there was a bit of a challenge included because I did all of that in solo, so no teammates, I was on my own, and legend level, legend lobbies, tons of chats, you know, being around, and uh, yeah, I, I thought it would be just more interesting if I do it in a like more challenging way. Speaking of that, do I advise playing the Mac 10? Well, <laughs> no, 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 no. If you want to play something like this, then play Dum Dums. And again, by the way, third uh, attempt, nothing in the saves. So if you want to play something like this, then play MP5, Bison or something else, maybe Dum Dums, because Mech 10 with the 30 round mag, it's like, okay, but I felt like that sometimes I'm kind of tickling the enemy, like tick, 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 and he's like, blah, 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 blah. shady, shady, what are you doing? You're just tickling me. I was facing tons of like chads, like, like real players in D5, AR57. I was even meeting a thermal team. So, from an efficiency point of view, using this gun, I wouldn't really recommend that. I got some kills, of course, but those were more like, like sneaky kills. Like, none of them were like face-to-face, -face, you know, where you just, you know, go and then push and then basically the enemy dies. And uh, I actually had tons of games where I didn't even make it to the hotel. Like... Some of them were like noobish mistakes from my end. I could have done much better, I admit that, but still it was very annoying that sometimes I got killed early in the game. I was trying to get to the hotel and because of my Mac 10, I felt so weak. I felt like that it's, I mean, it's not that bad as the MP40, absolutely not. So you can definitely do something. But let's take this as an example. So beefy squad with ARs and H4s and M4s and whatnot and tons of nades and they were like spending all of their nades just to kill me even if it's just one guy still I need to try hard just to make sure I get that one single kill so multiple times I failed sometimes I had a kill early game but this was like just a Timmy and then that Timmy also had teammates and my timing in this game was just terrible. I thought I have more time, but I just simply didn't. So I was again on the floor being dead. But I kept trying another example of, you know, what I say when I say Giga Chats. I, I hit that guy. I remember that game. I hit him hard. Even though he was throwing his impact nade, I hit him hard. And, uh, you know, he didn't die because I was running Mac 10. But even if I would have killed him, that guy had teammates. And look at that. At the beginning, like sneaky gameplay. This guy, this guy who was shooting me, he was absolutely making no noise. I was the one trying to be sneaky to check the surroundings. I didn't do much noise, but maybe he heard me running at the beginning, so I, I don't know. But he was even more sneaky with an AR-57. And I had multiple of these games where I saw people running in high-end loadouts compared to my Mac-10. And then there's again one more game where I didn't get to the hotel. I had one kill at the beginning. This was one of the games where I was playing with Zequel. I had a second kill here, as you can see through the door. But then the third one, it's always, you know, you know, you know what we said with Rugaboom? 
there's always one more and that one more kind of always kills you back to opening the door so room opening attempt four again nothing special being on the table and then also nothing in the electric safe and also nothing in the other safe and at this point let me tell you that why i feel this is pretty challenging or it was more challenging than what i thought so let me explain um if you are solo on farm legend level that's that's already a disadvantage but you either have a good spawn and you're rushing the hotel and if you do so then if you are lucky then you don't have a boss spawn in that case it's easy to open the door if you are rushing the hotel but there's a boss then you're gonna have a hard time because killing the boss and the guards it's just it's just hard okay even if you are dressed up it's hard it's not as simple as it seems by the way opening number five you know again again i i i didn't find anything the other scenario is that you have a bad spawn, a spawn which is pretty far away from the hotel. And in that case, what's going to happen is that by the time you arrive to the hotel, if you can make your way to the hotel, then most likely there's going to be one squad already in the hotel. So you need to fight them. Or if there's nobody around, maybe or somebody already opened the door. So it happened that I was not the first one arriving and then the door was already open. I'm gonna get back to that. But look at this game. I was having a good spawn, killing the boss and also killing one of the guards. This was, I think, the best opening ever. Best opening in Arena Breakout history. Very best main guest room opening in Arena Breakout. Look at that. I was killing the boss, one of the guards, I was opening the door, I was about to close it, and one of the bots killed me. Killed me? Killed me? How, how on earth can this happen? That you are opening the main guest room and the bots just destroy you. Anyways, I had also games where I got to the hotel, but the door was already opened. In most of the cases, it means that there was somebody already there. And I had some games where I could successfully kill you know some of them mainly timmies I, I have to add that those were mainly timmies as you could see i had one kill in the basement and i was picking up his gun i did a second kill and the third guy i mean come on guys this is a perfect example on show how bad i can be at the game because i was starting to chase him and then as i chased him he just simply turned around i was running dum dum so it was terribly bad but even in the next game you know, I was arriving to the hotel late, there was somebody already there, and I was expecting only one enemy. Don't ask me why, but I thought, I was, I, I didn't think, I was convinced that there is one enemy and there was one more guy, you know, on the other side. I had a lucky game where I went to stables, I don't know why I went to stables, but you know, there, there was a gut feeling that Shady, come on, go to the stables. That's gonna be something nice. And then I also had a kill. Um, but then I messed up again. I thought it would be a nice idea to smoke the area and then uh, throw a nade. But I should have switched back to my gun. So, you know, I failed again. Here, another example of going into the hotel late. But I knew somebody is there. I heard footsteps. I... I, I knew that something is happening, but look at that. I was like, 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 like peeking, peeking, like slightly peeking the window. And that guy, you know, that guy was exactly looking at that window with an RPK, 2x zoom. So, you know, this is what you should expect if you do like legend level uh, farm. I think it's, it's, it's exceptionally hard to play farm solo mode um you know at this level room opening number six don't forget that we didn't find the red item since the first opening table again empty but we have an electric safe which you know we know always holds good stuff but not this time but the good thing about this room is that there are two safes so i was running over to the other safe to find out that there is nothing inside so again a bad loot I'm always looking around because sometimes there are keys, sometimes there is, you know, 
something on the table obviously but you can also find red items in that closet where you have the jacket or you know yeah that green jacket thing sometimes you 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 can find a red item there and on top and on top you know while running home running to the extract i i get killed i got killed by an ax50 guy who was i don't know camping there anyways next one this was actually a really nice game this was one of the games where i was playing with zeke and i think this is good proof that if i would have been playing solo i would have died because we were facing a squad we, we could kill that squad and i was finding a port hotel key not inside but outside in that suitcase so always open that again nothing on the table Electric safe? Come on, 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 nothing, again, nothing. So it's, I think, the seventh time that we open this room and we have one red item only. And then, you know, other safe. Red, nothing. Um. So again, nothing here. I was actually giving this key to Zeke because he's really broke. He's always doing PvP and he's really good in that, uh, but he's not really opening safe, so I wanted to support him. He actually died when we started um, extracting and there was a squad incoming. They didn't see me. I was hitting the first guy. He almost died. Then I was killing the teammate, knocking the teammate, but then then they just rushed me and, and, and it was a T5, T6 squad um and and one of them had thermos in this game guys i think it's not a shame to show it to you i think it's absolutely not a shame i i, I actually had a game where i was fighting the boss and i died and i died it happened i was the first one arriving and then i died anyways let's forget about that for a second okay because in the in, in 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 not in the next game because you don't see the games in the order i played them but there was actually another game where i was the one arriving first and look at that look at that what they did they did actually sandwich me so the bots the guards were coming from two sides and i was trying to break out arena break out and it didn't work so two times I got actually killed by the bots, okay? And that was actually the third time where I could open the door and I, I, I got killed. But this is attempt number nine. Again, nothing on the table, of course. As you could see, nothing in the electric safe. And then in the other safe, in the other safe, nothing of course nothing i guess by now you're gonna know what i'm gonna say in the summary but i still have one one attempt okay there's still one more to go and unfortunately still in the same game on top of not finding anything i even got killed by a timmy with an s12k like like even on top of everything but here there you go guys there you go guys last game last attempt I almost got myself killed because there was a squad inside. So I was waiting for 200 years next to the hotel to get into this room. I waited for them to get away. Again, nothing on the table. Again, nothing in the closet. But last chance to open the electric safe. Damn! A big nothing for you guys. A big nothing. No red items. Just a shitty purpose. They didn't even give me a yellow item, a ring or something, nothing, just kind of the purpose, the usual purpose. So let me tell you that my overall summary is that I think this key is like overhyped. Like for 800,000, I could have purchased a full set of keys for Northridge. For this price, you can buy like all of the keys. And I can guarantee you that if you go to Northridge, then you're going to find much more red items than focusing on this specific room. I know I wasn't lucky. It could have been a bit different. Maybe I could have found like three red items or five red items. I don't think five, five, five is a bit of an overkill. 
like i think three red items four okay okay let's make it four so out of 10 openings i think the maximum you can get is like four red items maybe you are super lucky and you get into the room and then you find the red item in both the electric and the normal but i think it's not gonna happen it's just you know it's just it's just a fairy tale. It doesn't really happen that often. So considering the level of threat, the fact that you can be squeezed by the boss and the other teams, and then it's even hard to extract and everybody wants to get into the hotel. I think it's not worth buying this key. I mean, it's okay if you are not running solo. If you are running a team and you have a decent gun, then it's perfectly fine. But solo, Mac 10, uh, 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 no. No, don't do that. Thank you for sticking with me for this episode of Shady Tales. Shoot, loot, subscribe on my Discord. Guys, I'm awaiting ideas for the next challenge, for the next episode of Shady Tales. So hop to my Discord and be part of the big, big, lovely Shady Squad. Have a nice day. Shady out. Bye.